we hear that uh, there's been reclassification of more uh, districts that are going to have workers receiving uh, rural hardship allowances, what will this really entail? It has been an exercise uh, long overdue and we are happy as trade unions, all of us uh, public service trade unions, we are happy that this thing has been implemented. One thing very quickly that I need to mention is that this is an ongoing exercise that other classifications also uh, reclassifications may come on board as the, the exercise continues so that many people can benefit from, from the same, yes. Do you think government will have the ability to actually pay for these allowances, especially that we've heard of so many protests time and again in as far as non-payment? Yes, the payment uh, we've been assured through a secular memo that it will be paid in September month end on payroll. So we are, we are yet to, this is September, it has begun, so month end we are going to see this being paid to the workers in those mentioned districts. However, this does not mean that the other districts are not uh, getting, they are getting except they are not in D, but they are in C or either B. But uh, the situation for D is quite uh, very severe and those are the most vulnerable.